Hello YouTube, 123LG Productions here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a stop motion video using uh, your Mac and an application called Smoothie. I have Smoothie launched on my Mac right here. Uh, you can find it online. I'll put in the link below in the video description to buy the software uh, for $30, $29.99 to be exact. Uh, it's a great piece of software because it really makes it easy to make stop motion videos um, but also because you can use your Apple remote if you have one to control the software. If you don't have one uh, you might consider getting one because it really makes things a lot simpler but if you don't have one you can just use your controls using your uh, touchpad or your mouse and it works just fine. So uh, what you're going to need is obviously your Mac. You're going to need a subject that you want to film uh, if you have an Apple remote, that's optional. And, of course, you could use your uh, built-in eyesight on your Mac, but I recommend getting a uh, webcam. Over here, I have the IPVO point-to-view camera. I have a review of that from a while back. It is a bit pricey, but definitely worth it. Um, and using an external webcam will make things a lot simpler because you can adjust where you want to position the video, and you won't have to worry about moving your monitor up and down and it just makes things a lot simpler. So, uh, anyway, if you don't know what stop motion video is, it's when you uh, use pictures to create a video. So normally when you take a video with your webcam, it is actually a lot of little pictures put together. So they're called frames. So when you see something saying 60 frames per second and your camera's recording that, it's taking 60 pictures every second that you film. And it's actually just thousands of pictures to put together. What stop motion is, is taking the pictures and putting in the other direction. So I would take each picture, uh, for example, I might take a picture of this little uh, wind-up toy and then move it and take another picture, move it, take another picture, move it, take another picture, and then put them all together using Smoothie. It makes it very simple uh, and it will actually look like this little uh, wind-up toy is moving across the desk on its own. So anyway, um, let me show you how to do this. Uh, first thing you want to do is launch the movie. I have it launched over here. Let me just zoom in. Uh, I'm sorry about the detail. I tried to do a screencast, but it wouldn't let me use both cap webcams at the same time. Uh, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go... This is just how it looks when I launch. You're going to go over here where it says Smoothie Library. And you're going to go ahead and add a library. And I'm just going to name it... I mean, add a new film or starting a new smoothie. I'm just going to name it Little Robot. Uh, sorry you can't really see detail, but uh, if you buy the software, you'll see a lot what this means. Uh, so create smoothie. And it automatically uh, captured onto the uh, eyesight. So I'm going to go ahead on the bottom over here, right under the video, and I'm going to click Active Camera, and I'm going to switch that Active Camera to the IPVO Point to View Webcam. So this now switched to my webcam over here. So I'm going to uh, position this so I can uh, set everything how I like. And I'm just going to make this video uh, that I'm going to make during this tutorial very simple. The robot is going to uh, move across the desk like this just to show you how to use this software. Okay. So the camera is viewing it, uh, and let me go ahead and show you how to do this. <clears throat> so up here on the screen we see what the webcam is seeing, and I'm just going to use my Apple remote, uh, but uh, you can just use this little red button on the bottom over here. There's a little red button under the uh, the viewing screen and uh, you can click that to take a picture but I'm just going to use the uh, play button on my Apple remote to take a picture so let's put our object in the starting position which will be over here and I'm going to click and Smoothie has automatically taken a picture I didn't have to sync this or anything it's automatically connected now I'm going to move my object a little bit forward and take another picture I'm going to do this repeatedly. The closer uh, I, I mean, the less I move the object forward, the better the video is going to come out. 
if I move it five feet every time, it's going to look very choppy. But if I move it just a centimeter or two, it's going to look very smooth and it's actually going to appear as if the object is moving across the desk. Uh, stop motion is used <clears throat> in a lot of commercials, whether you realize it or not. <clears throat> it can be way more complicated than something like this, uh, but this is just a very simple way to do it, and I like this uh, just for making some simple uh, movies. So, this is basically it. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this little stop motion video. And Smoothie is a very basic program. It has a few settings, but it's mainly for people who uh, want to get into stop motion. You can buy way more advanced programs, but I like stop mo uh, Smoothie, even though I know what stop motion is and how to do it. I like Smoothie just for the feature of the Apple remote alone. I would recommend it just for this feature alone. It's worth the $30. So, I think we're done here. I have my object and I've taken all the pictures I want. And you can go as far as uh, creating an actual movie and making different scenes over here by clicking the plus button and adding different scenes. But I think I'm done. I'm going to click on the top here, turn off camera. And now my video is ready to be viewed. Uh, I'm going to go over here and click play. And again, I'll click play. And you see the object moved across the desk. Uh, so it looks pretty decent. I can go to inspector up here, and that's just going to bring up some settings. I can change the scene speed, which is the frames per second, by dragging across this bar. So if I make it uh, 15, I think it was set at, if I make it 30, it's going to go twice as fast because it expects twice the amount of frames. And I can change it to much fewer as well. So if I put it to 3.7 and I play, it's going to expect, ooh, sorry, it's going to expect much fewer frames. Okay, so that's Smoothie. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely recommend it. If you aren't keen on spending the $30 to buy Smoothie, there are other programs as well. But this is probably one of the better ones, especially because of this feature. I know I keep on saying it, but it's made it so much easier. Rather than having to use my camera and clicking the uh, capture button on my camera every time I move something, and then uploading all the images to my computer, it's really hard, but Smoothie has made it very easy. Definitely recommended. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, and if you want to, if you make a video with Smoothie or any other program, feel free to leave it as a video response. Anyway, guys, remember to uh, thumbs up this video, comment, and subscribe, uh, and follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the video description. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace.